allergies is little bit on the poor side. Oh, I put my pin away. Right, I'm ready to start. I want to finish this tonight so we can. Hi, Cheryl. <laughs> Pass the cricket. <laughs> So we can see if we can finish this thing tonight. How's that? Yay. Okay. Where's my paper? So I got my paper. We're going to need... Oh, I made notes for myself to check my off -cut. So let me just get my off -cut out. Okay, I don't have much of cuts. I probably used it already, but I'm just going to put it to the side here. Okay. So, our first page that we're going to need, let's refer back to the, the original so you know where we're at. We finished this last week, so we did that. And we also finished the belly band that's on the inside here. So tonight, just put this thing back. So tonight we are starting on this page. Are we good? Or is the picture good? Okay, thank you. So this is what we're going to be doing tonight. And I'm going to start with this little flap here. We're going to do them one at a time so that we can all stay together and um, and so everybody can keep abreast of where we're at. So we're first going to be cutting and measuring this little flap on the side here. Okay. So let me just write that down. Page four. So we're going to be cutting a piece that is four and three quarters by seven and three quarters. And then we're going to score half an inch on the seven and three quarter side. Okay. Just gonna move this slightly there. Let me see. And if I put it there, can you still see it? Okay. Right, so I'm going to cut. Sorry, I'm just trying to see if I'm in shot. Um I'm going to do the seven and three quarter on this side. And four and three quarter on the other side. And then, just want to show you the original again. So the flap is going this way, which means the score line has to be on the long side. That means you're putting your short end against the top of the scoreboard, right? So that, we're doing that. Okay, and then we're scoring that half an inch. Back to the, the side with the score line and the bumpy side. We're putting tape on that side. And I am adding, this is 10 mil red tape. Okay. 
and we are burnishing and then folding towards the bumpy side we are scoring and I score both sides or burnishing both sides so that it lies flat and believe it or not I forgot my album Lucky it's right here. Oh, that's upside down. Okay, so that comes. So remember we did this last week, the two pages there. And this one is going to be right on this end. So I need my white sheet of card again, just so I can see where I'm at and what I'm doing. So if you missed last week, the reason why I'm putting the white sheet in here is so that I can see a very clearly defined line where my page ends. Because with all this black on black, it's very difficult to see. And when you get to my age and the eyesight starts failing, then um, it gets so much worse. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and eyeball the center. If you want to, you can measure um, but I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to try my luck. And I'm going to turn mine because I find it a little bit easier to work like that. Because I've got the camera stuck right in the middle of my face here. So. Let's just see. I think that's more or less in the center. Okay, so I've got my flap down. It's not center, but it will have to do, unfortunately. I'm not peeling it out. Okay, so we need the next one. Auntie Nabi, am I working too fast for you, or are you good with me? So the second flap, hi Yvette, so is Auntie Nabi with me? Auntie Nabi, just give me a thumbs up if you're okay. Okay, so the next page, the next piece we need, so did you guys get this note here? So the... The first flap is four and three quarter by seven and three quarter. We're scoring half an inch on the seven and three quarter side, and it fits on the right hand side page, the right hand side of your page four. So it flaps outward. Then the next one, flap two. is ten and a half by seven and three quarters and then we scoring half an inch and five and a half inches and that is so let me first cut it and then I'll tell you on which side because my brain is now gone on to on froze freeze mode Let's just see. So that's the score. I need another piece. So it is ten and a half. So ten and a half by seven and three quarters. Okay, are you guys with me still? Where's my comments? Comments, comments. So far, so good. Okay, Auntie Nabi, I nearly dropped my trimmer. So, this is going into our page. Where's the one? So, let me just go back and show you. 
it goes into the book so that one flaps up and then this one is flapping like this so let me just show you so this is the seven and three quarter which means we need to have this um, placed up above your scoreboard so it's the long side that goes up to the scoreboard okay does that make sense So we're scoring half an inch and on five and a half. We good. I'm putting tape on. It looks like it's frozen but it's not okay and then I'm burnishing my tape this needs to become a habit when you are making albums is the burnishing part needs to become second nature and then I'm flapping towards the bubble on that side as well So there's that flap. Let's go back to the original so you can see how it fits. So this one is going to fit like that. And it flaps closed like that. Okay. But then on the outside of this one, we also have a pocket. So I'm going to cut the pocket as well now. Then we can assemble the pocket before we put it into the book. Okay. Auntie Nabi, are we okay? So, the pocket size, let me just draw a line here. The pocket is eight and a half by four and a half. So, eight and a half by four and a half. And we're scoring um half an inch on three sides i don't have any teflon bone folders in stock at the moment um i will have to be getting some more because auntie navi also asked me to get one you can see how nice it, it is to have a teflon um, bone folder you can't see any of the shine on your on your card stock it really really makes a big difference so we need eight and a half by four and a half and i don't have enough here so i'm going to take a new sheet is eight and a half by four so i'm cutting my four and a half off first because i don't want to cut the whole piece off and we're doing ah bugger i forgot sorry this is eight and a quarter silly me so i have to do this this way oh no i need a new sheet sorry this is my 12 by 12 it's an a4 Mm. So eight and a half. So I'm going to be short one of one sheet now. Eight and a half by four and a half. Okay. So that's what your page should, should look like. So now we're doing a pocket. And I think someone asked me last week about doing a pocket. So I hope that lady's here. Um, when you do a pocket, you're scoring all three sides. So we're scoring 
half an inch there then you just rotate it score half an inch there and you rotate it one more time and you score half an inch there so that's what you need okay And when you're putting tape, you only put tape from that point to the end and from that point because this little corner here we're going to cut away. So I'm putting my tape on. And you'll see I always flip my I always flip my card to cut it on the other side because that way I know I get full tape coverage right till the end of my of my strip. And the last piece. Are you guys keeping up? Okay, now I'm going to burnish that. And then I am going to cut, just going to draw a line so I can show you. Oh, not very visible, I think. But I'm going to cut right across that little triangle there where the um where the the two score lines meet on the two ends here yeah? and then we fold towards the bubble and burnish Now, to prevent your, um, your pocket from having a lot of bulk here so that it lies nice and flat, this should lie next to each other and not overlap. Okay, so these are pretty, fairly accurately well done. I'm just seeing a little bit of that, which I don't like. I don't know if you can see it. So I will just trim a small piece off there. There's still another piece there. There we go. So you see that little, it would have irritated me. I don't like any bits of overhanging uh, paper or card. It must be a nice, neat little edge there. There's one on that side as well. And I'm taking off like literally nothing. It's just like a shave of that. So, are we up to date? Is everybody with me? And then what I usually do, just to make sure that my things don't get stuck inside the pocket when you're taking things in and out I just miter that edge slightly so you've got that now my iPad is freezing up a lot tonight so I'm having real trouble keeping up with the with the comments so Okay, so this is the little pocket here. Here's mine. 
that's that's the size of the pocket there and then we need to measure the middle here because i just take a circle punch and i punch out that little corner there so this is approximately seven and a half half of seven is three and a half so let me just see oh use my center ruler why not see man okay so that's the center there if you don't have one of these rulers you have to get one ask you it so that's the middle and i'm just going to punch that out quickly i'm not sure which size punch i use there but i'm going to use a one and a half and what I use on the EK Success punches, you'll see that the K to me looks almost like it's the center. I think it it looks, let me just close this so you can see. If I hold the ruler here, you can see there's a little line in the middle. And to me, it looks like the K lines up with that line. So I just use the K as a, a guide for me. Um, and I'm I'm not pedantic about measuring this. I just... I just eyeball it so there we go it looks more or less right that's three that's the yeah perfect okay so the pocket is done and now if we look at the page I'm going to bring the original out so you can see this is going to go Let's just open that. So that is going to go there and it flaps open. So your pocket comes on the outside, right? So are you ladies with me on this one? Just give me a thumbs up. Asalaam, um, Asma, what did Asma say? What paper range? I used the House of Roses from Stamperia. We just got in a new order. So if you want some paper, you must let me know. Uh, I do, Asma, I just got. Uh, Hazel asked, what is the name of the circle punch? Hazel, I'm, I'm very um, fussy with my punches. I tend to use punches that I know are not going to give me trouble. Um, so I tend to use EK Success punches for, for my... Um, I use EK Success and Marvie and martha stewart those are the brands of hand that i can think of tim holtz um that hasn't given me any issues when i when i i punch so especially something like a circle punch that i use a lot i use these very often so are we all together on the same page so this comes in there the flap goes so we've got the score line, your tape is at the bottom, the flap goes towards that side, and the pocket comes there. Can we glue down? Are you with me, Auntie Nabi? Have you got that? Yes, Yvette, I've got it packed away for you. Don't worry, it's off the shelf. It didn't even go on the shelf so I'm going to glue my uh, my pocket down Oops. so I'm gonna do it this way because it's going to be easier for me to manage and I can see what I'm doing now at this point if you want to add pattern paper here you can do so i what did i do on my album i can't remember oh i didn't add paper i just added to the top so i was very stingy with my pattern paper when i did this um this album i must say so i'm putting that down and i'm pulling out the tape and I'm going to do the other side. And 
the other side. Okay, pack it on. Auntie Nabi, is your pocket on? So now we can put this into our album. So this flap needs to be open and this one goes. Okay, let me just make sure my paper is in the right place. Yes, it is. And then this goes. So now, let me raise this so I can show you. This goes on there, but it needs to be a little way. We can't stick it right, right on that fold. Otherwise, this is not going to close. Okay? So you need to leave like a two inch, a two eighth inch gap between those two pieces. Does that make sense? Two eighths of an inch gap, more or less. You can just eyeball it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just enough space so that this can close properly. Okay. And then what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and line it up because my page like this, I stuck a little bit too high. So I'm just going to try and line it up with that one so that it doesn't look too bad. Are we all with, are we all on the same page? Are you all with me? Okay, that looks about right. Okay, so that's the flap there. It opens that way, close, closed. And I'm going to burnish everything again just to make sure that it stays in place. Ta-da! Done! Got it? And last week we did the belly band, so that's done. So now we go on to page 5. Right, can I have an indication to know that everybody's up to date? Just give me a thumbs up or a little heart or something so I know you're all there. Okay, the next flap is this one. Sorry guys, my iPad is a little bit frozen. Okay, I see thumbs up, so Ronald saying it's good. Okay, so this one, we're going to use the 12 by 12 sheet here. Now my one is slightly higher than six inches, but I was trying to be efficient using the cardstock. So we're using part of the 12 by 12 on this one. And then we're also using the other piece of the 12 by 12 on this one. So your flap is going to be slightly shorter by half an inch than my one. So we're cutting this one 6 inches by the full 12 inches of your sheet. Okay, so we, that means you're just cutting the 12 by 12 in half. And I need to measure this because my trimmer doesn't have an accurate marking for 6. Unfortunately, that is exactly where it it joins for folding purposes. So, so that's the two pieces. And 
And so keep the other piece of the 12 by 12 for the next flap. We're going to be using this one first. I'm going to write that down for you quickly. Where did my pen go? Ah, found it. Okay, so page five. So you cut your 12 by 12 at six inches. Then you score on the six inch side, which means the long side needs to be on the top of your scoreboard. You're scoring it at half an inch. And let me just see, six and three quarter. I just want to double check that measurement because like they say measure twice cut once so six and three quarter yes okay so measurements are right we're cutting at six inches and we're scoring at half an inch and six and three quarters okay have you all got that my facebook feed on my ipad is very delayed tonight it's like like really delayed so if you have a spot of silence there's just me trying to catch up and we're putting tape on the half inch piece again okay burnish yes you also delayed okay thank you Elsabi Okay, and then I'm burnishing that, folding towards the bubbles. Okay. So let me just show you how this one goes in. So this one goes into your page. Like I said, I told you your one's going to be slightly smaller. So it goes into the page like this. And at this point, you can decide whether you want to center yours or leave it at the bottom. It's entirely up to you. I just like the fact that you could, let, it's like, you know, a peekaboo show. So you could see a little piece. If there was a photograph here, you could see the, the, the part of the photograph. So you know that there's something behind there. That was my thinking, I think, at the time. Okay, so this will go down like that and then it folds in and it will fold over and then after that we're going to do the waterfall okay so let's stick this into the album then we know it's down so that comes on this page because we're on the last page now wow we're doing good so that, I'm going to leave a small gap at the bottom of my, of my page. Okay. I think that's straight, so I'm going to peel off. And I'm going to burnish that. And burnish that so that's in there right is your one in are you up to date everybody up to date then the waterfall 
I'm sure Auntie Nabi's going to tell me I'm going too fast. On the previous one? Okay. So the score lines of the um, six inch piece is score at half an inch and six and three quarter. Right? So the waterfall comprises of three pieces. So we've got one, one, two, three. You can add a fourth one if you want to. It will just come down lower. And these measure. Now let me see. Um, waterfall. Six and three quarter by four and a half. So I'm going to check what I have left in my stash of off cuts. We need three times six and three quarter by four and a half. So let's just check the off cut. The piece that has the six inch piece we need to keep. So what size is that? That's spot on four and a half. And I'm sure this must be. Yep, that one can work. That can work. And I've got another piece here that can also work. Okay, so I'm going to trim down these off cuts that I have to create my waterfall. So this I need to cut to six and three quarters. I said if you wanted to do a fourth one you could there's enough space on the page to accommodate a fourth a fourth piece maybe what you could do how about that let's see i wonder if it will work though there's no harm in trying let's just try i'm going to take um one of my broader strips and cut it down and just see if I add that to the top it might add some interest we're going to go for it if it doesn't work it's tough so these all need to be scored on the short side so we're scoring half an inch on the six and a quarter side so they all need to be done why did I cut it six and three quarter yeah that's right I'm getting ahead of myself I'm looking at the next measurements again two three so I'm going to experiment with the fourth piece And we need to apply tape. So tape on the dented side. Flip and trim. This is the third one. And my last one. Okay. 
Okay. And we are burnishing. I feel like I say the word burnish quite a lot. You guys will never believe how difficult it was because when we applied for the Cricut Ambassador program, you had to do a one minute video saying why you should be an ambassador. So I did a play play video in the kitchen with Shafiq as my witness and it went fine, absolutely fine. It was perfect. Come into my craft room, sit down, camera in the holder. And what do you know? We start to, we start to choke. <laughs> I don't know how many times I had to do it over. I am like, hi there, my name is Shamala. No, doesn't work. Doesn't look right. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Hi there, I'm Shamila. No, not right. Oh my goodness. And I was on the verge of giving up. You have no idea how hard it is to speak to a camera like that. My goodness. So my thinking is I'm going to put my short piece there. I don't know how it's going to look, but I'm going to give it a try. Waste not, want not. So that's the pocket one. And there we go. So this will go in here. Now, if you think back to how we put the album together, this is exactly the same process of where you um, you place a piece down, flip it, place another piece next to it, etc. So that's exactly the same thing that we're going to do now. Now I am just going to measure it with my eye. But you can use a ruler if you want to. So this one is going to go here. And the next one. So now these are all the same size, so they need to line up. And my last one. I have a guest in my room. I'm not sure if it's a mozzie or a fly. I think it's a mozzie. Okay. It doesn't look great. I'm not a fan of it, but we'll see. Maybe with pattern paper on, it will look better. Okay. Waterfall in. Who's with me? I could probably have put the shortest one at the bottom. It would have looked better. Yes, Shafi? Oh, you didn't put that thing on for the, for the Marzies. Okay, final page. Right, now we need this piece of off cut that we cut away from the 12 by 12 earlier. Where's my notes? So this is cut 6 by 12, 6 inches by 12 inches. So this is the flip side of the other page. And we're scoring it at, oops, no man. This is a rude mozzie, it's right in my face. We're scoring it at half an inch and at 6 and a quarter inches. If you can catch it. Did I get it? I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's quite annoying. So, 
sorry about that interruption so i said scoring at half and six and a quarter so we have the 12 inch side up against the end of our scoreboard we're scoring it at half an inch and six and a quarter which is there so let me let me cover this so that's the measurements we are doing right now the second piece of your water of your 12 by 12 that we cut away so that's scored when there's no cutting on that piece you're using it as it is and you're scoring at half and six and a quarter inches all right And we are taping trim did I go and lose my bone folder now really has disappeared off the face of the earth. I had it a moment ago. Oh, here it is. Silly me. Okay, burnish. That's what happens when you do a live. Things disappear on your desk into, into nothing. It's just gone. And then it's right in front of your face. So we've got that scored and burnished and now it's going into our album. Oh, by the way, if you have been waiting for the white glamour gel to come into stock, we received our order today so it's easier. Just please message me so I can take yours out of stock if you're waiting for it. Right, so this flap goes down. So you can use it either way, can flap that way. I just thought it was more interesting coming out like that. Okay, so it's going to sit like that and flap back. Now you can put it at the bottom, you can put it at the top there, it doesn't matter. I just find that if I stick it down to the bottom of my page, this is closest to you, so it's easy, easier to pull it down and put it back than when it is on the top. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? So that's why I have mine. Um, why does mine look like it's a little bit skew? That's why I have my flap at the bottom. Let me just see. Mine looks a bit misaligned. Just gonna see if I can fix it. That's better. Okay, so this is going to go here. Where's my white sheet? And I'm gonna turn this around so it's easier for me to stick down. And of course, we're going to try and eyeball the center as normal. So I'm just gonna pull a small piece off so I can first check and judge where the center is and try and peer over the camera so I can see what I'm doing and stick So that's in. Right now, the last page is our faux pocket, which is this one. This is the faux pocket. And here's a magnet in here. 
to hold everything nicely together. So let's, Auntie Nabi, is it, are you up to date? Are you all with me? Can I see some, some indication if you're up to date? Hi, Madeline. Okay, so the faux pocket. How much pen has disappeared? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> There's a big black hole on my table tonight. So, the faux pocket is approximately, uh, let's call it a faux envelope, because that I learned from Kathy Orta, and she calls it a faux envelope. So, let's stick to that. So, that measures seven and five eighths by approximately seven inches okay that is the bottom and then the top of the on of the faux envelope measures four by seven and five eighths okay So let's see how we're going to cut this. So seven and five eighths by seven inches. So let's see, I'm gonna cut the seven inches off there by seven and five eighths. So seven and five eighths is the line after the seven and a quarter mark okay so it's the one just before seven and a half does that make sense and then we need one that is seven and five eighths by four inches so the one a4 sheet is sufficient for the pocket So we've got the two pieces, this one, seven and five eighths by seven, seven and five eighths by seven, and the other one, seven and five eighths by four, okay? So I'm going to do the the base first, which is the the um, the bottom of the pocket. So we need to score half an inch on the seven and five eighth inch side. Now let me just explain to you why. So this is our this is our pocket or our flap. And this is the long side. Where's my ruler's dot there? So that's the long side going this way, which means we need to score on that side, right? So you're pushing the seven and five eighths. Um, let me just see here. No, sorry, the seven inch side you're putting up against your your scoreboard, okay? So the seven inch side and we're scoring on that side seven five eighths side right that one's done and then where's the other piece this is the four inch piece so we're scoring this one at half an inch also on the seven and five eighth side okay Everybody got that? I'm going to put my tape down. So 
so that's our top flap that one needs a little bit of adjusting so because we're going to cut it into a like an envelope shape on the top but this one this one is pretty straightforward I wonder how long we've been on for Okay, burnish, fill to the bubble, and burnish. Oops. So that's the bottom piece, and then this is the top. Now I'm not going to fold this one yet. We just need to trim it so that we get that. We exactly an hour. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so now we've got our score line there and we need to do that little shaping so what I'm going to do is I need my pencil oh it's gone okay got it so we need to measure from that score line I'm going to measure approximately, let's say, um, I wonder if it's two or two and a quarter. Let me just measure my other one just to make sure. Measure, twice cut once. It's two and a quarter. Okay, so from your score line, you measure two and a quarter inches and make a mark. We do that on both sides. Let's see where the light is bad. Okay. I just want to make sure this is right. So that is about one and a quarter left on that side right we right then we measure the middle of this so here's our center ruler so this is let's see it's just a little bit more than three and a half just a little bit more than three and a half and i think that's more or less the center you just check That's three and a half. That's three and a half. That's close enough. So what you're going to do is, is it right? Let me just double check. That's three. Wait. Sorry. Concentration is real here. So that's just a little bit more than... That's a little bit more than three and all. No, this is like way off. Sorry, let's do that again. Three and a half, three and three quarters. Three and a half. That looks more right. Looks more like it. That looks more like it. I was off by a whole lots of margin there. There we go. There we go, much better. So now we've got the center point of that, and I'm just going to to join up that two two lines there. So one there. And one there. And that is how you get that. That's uh, um, that envelope point, and I'm just gonna trim it with my trimmer. So let's see. One. Two. Okay. This one needs a bit skew.
there we go you can use your craft knife if you want to you can use um your scissors either way whatever works for you okay so we can now fold this over and burnish it well and we can put it into our album so was that easy enough for you all oh and you've been waiting if you've been waiting for the i'm thinking of the glue now because i'm putting this in here if you've been waiting for the extra forte the extra strong glue this one it has arrived guys we waited for so long to get this into stock so it's here please message me if you want to order some it's really nice glue and i have found that this little um the black tape it's got like an oily residue on it so sometimes the double-sided tape doesn't always stick to it i tend to apply some glue on it as well just to make sure that it sticks so now the nozzle is blocked Sorry, let me just get the glue out here because there we go okay so especially where the areas of the um, the areas of the tape is I'm just making sure that I'm gonna stick this on the right way because trust me I will stick it upside down and, uh, I'm just going to eyeball this and stick that down and I think that's more or less in line and do the same with the top so that's the other part and now this one we need to make sure it lines up Okay, so if you're making envelopes of different or faux envelopes of different sizes, you just need to make sure that your top flappy covers the bottom. Okay. Otherwise, it's not an envelope. So I'm just lining this up to make sure that it's straight. And then to remind myself that I need to put a magnet here. Oopsie, I almost spelt it maggot. Maggot. I write magnet. Magnet. Because once I start decorating and I get into the throes and the excitement of decorating, believe me, I forget to put that magnet in. And then we have the delicate procedure of, of getting the, um, the pattern paper loose again and all that stuff, and then it just creates a mess. So just make a note for yourself. Unless if your memory is better than mine, because you guys all know I have a terrible memory, it's one of being very forgetful um if yours is better than mine then you don't need to make notes for yourself but i definitely need to make notes for myself okay so i've just taken off the excess glue that has popped out there and we are done so let's have a bit, quick page through we've got our gatefold here on the first page and then we have our very long concertina flap with the inside flaps two flaps on the inside we have our 
waterfall and we've got magnets there already and then we've got our two pocket pages we have our two portrait photograph pages we've got the page with our pocket which flaps open and yeah flaps open then we've got our belly band we've got a, a flappy to the side and another belly band on the in sorry not belly band waterfall on the inside i love waterfalls because you can get so many photographs on one page but just remember if you're adding bulk always remember the rule of thumb you need to have enough gap here in the margin to accommodate this bulk happening here because remember every piece of paper you put down is a one mil and every photograph you add to it is another one mil so the and I'm talking millimeters now, not inches, because it's probably one eighth of an inch then. Because that just adds. So if you've got a stack of one mils piling up here, eventually this is not going to be big enough. If you've got a very small margin. So just remember that. And then we've got the down flap. And we have the faux pocket. And that's it. Ladies, you have finished your 8x8 eight eight album. How does it feel? Shafiq, do you think you can help me take out the um, the camera, please? I'm so scared to take this thing out myself. Let me see if I can do it. Okay, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Thank you, I managed to get it. So ladies, thank you very much. I thanks also be I will. Um thanks the Auntie Nabi, are you up to date with me? Are we going to Thanks Leanne, it's a pleasure. I love doing it. I can't wait to finish this one because now I was going to use um, oh there I get a message from my service provider saying that they are having network issues so thank god we didn't have it <laughs> while I was with you working I'm having fights with them all the time so do we want to do the pattern paper or are you guys good to do it on your own um, I was going to use orchids and cats but unfortunately i sold all of them so i'm looking at another paper pack and i'm gonna see what's what's left in stash in stock now the challenge what challenge rachel and now what are we going to do next week oh to add the paper ah near man rachel you're an old hand at this you can cut as i do the pattern paper Are we going to do the pattern paper? Let's do a vote. Send me a thumbs up if you want to do pattern paper next week. Or leave a comment. Please do the pattern paper. Okay. We shall do the pattern paper next week. Righto. So next week we will start doing the pattern paper. Um, then I might as well do House of Roses. Because I think we do have House of Roses that just arrived. So I'll do that one again. Righto, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you guys had a good time. I am going to call it a night. See you guys next week. And remember, if you're waiting for the glue, the glamour gel, the white glamour gel, the um, Adonis's um, vintage paste, those things have arrived. Please, it's out of stock at Stamperia again. So if you want, please send me a message on WhatsApp and then I will um, I'll get, put it aside for you. Thank you so much for watching. I shall see you next week. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do. I'm growing it. I need a thousand subscribers and I'm only on 580. So thank you so much to those who have subscribed. I beg you guys, please.
click the subscribe button when you're there. And that's it from me. Until next time, see you in cyberspace. Bye now.